In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do an easy masking transition like this one. When I made the video, I got quite some comments and questions about that specific transition and it is way easier than it looks. So I thought, why not show you how I did it so that you can do it too and you can just make better videos because that's what we're all here for. So let's go. If we look at my timeline, you can see that I already imported the two clips and I slowed it down to 50%. When I play through it, you will see that there is almost something blocking my view. And that is exactly what we want. We need an object in our frame that we can use for this transition. So it can be a construction like what I used, or it can be a lamppost or a tree or someone who's walking by. You need something in your frame that you can use for your transition. The first step is to find the frame where the mask and hence the transition will start. Now it is time to actually create this mask. And we create this mask by going to effects controls, go to opacity, and here you see three options. You see the circle, a rectangle, and the pen tool. And we're going to be using the pen tool. You can draw this mask in two ways. They both work the same way, but one may be more logical in your head and work better in your brain than the other one. So I'm going to show you both options. The first option is to draw a mask around the first clip. After you drew the mask, you can see that there is a little part cut out. The other way is to draw a mask over the part that you want to cut out. And this is what I'm going to do, because for me, this just makes a little bit more sense, but both options work the same way. Before we do anything else, let's first adjust the mask feather. Increasing the value of the mask feather will help you smooth out the edges and hence the transition. But now, now that we've created this mask, it's not gonna do anything else. It's not going to move with the frame, nothing. It will just stay like this. So we need to create the movement for ourselves. So how we're going to do that is we're going to click on mask path. And we're going to make some keyframes by clicking on the little clock. Then what we wanna do is we wanna go one frame forward and adjust the mask. As you're adjusting the mask, you can see right here that you created another keyframe. Now you have to go frame by frame and adjust the mask every frame. There are two things that I want you to pay attention to. The first thing is that if you're going to adjust the mask for every frame, don't adjust it too much because it can look very jittery if you do it that way. You can also skip a few frames and then adjust the mask again so it goes a little bit more smoothly, but it really depends on your shot. The second thing that I want you to pay attention to is all the other corners because you're going to be so focused on the tree or the lamppost or in my case this to make sure that the transition looks great that you can forget to look at the rest of the mask. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to all the corners to make sure that the mask still covers the entire frame. You may notice that the feathering is actually also happening within the frame and that is not what you want. You want it only to be at the transition. So one way to solve this is by dragging all those points up and out of frame so you won't see that anymore. All right, let's do this for all the frames now. Once you've reached the end of the clip, you're not done yet because now we have to go back to the first keyframe and then go one frame backwards and just move the mask out of frame. Or if you're using the other approach, make sure that everything is back in frame. Now we're going to play through the transition to see how it looks and we're going to make some adjustments where necessary. After the color grading and adding the music, this is what the finished product looks like. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more tutorials like these, make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell in case you want to be notified and so we can see each other in the next video. And if you cannot wait until the next video, go click on that video.